I mean, we're really way out in the middle of nowhere, and yet world-famous Tabasco sauce comes from Avery Island. It's all made here. There's no other Tabasco factory. So if you're in, you know, the far interior of China and and uh, you see a bottle of Tabasco in Chinese, uh, it came from here and was labeled in Chinese here. And there are a lot of other things about the island that are that are very strange in a in a good way. There's a lot of things that are that are here on Avery Island. So we have obviously that we're in the midst of all the the Cajun culture, which is really about getting together and about good food, and that's perfect for for us in Tabasco. And then it's also an incredibly diverse uh, ecosystem down here, where uh, the marshes are teeming with wildlife and 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 resources, and it's just a, a fantastic place for both of those things to to mix together. You know, you're surrounded by nature out here, and Edmund McElhenney, the man who invented Tabasco sauce in 1868, was sort of a self-taught naturalist. He writes in his letters uh, or his diaries, I'll, you know, I took off of work today early to go roam the island. And then you see Edward, his son, doing the exact same thing, you know, from the 1890s when he was a young adult on uh, until his death in 1949. There is a very long-term thread uh, of, of interest in, in nature and conservation in the McElhinney family and even their Avery cousins. We've been doing sustainability before sustainability was called sustainability and before sustainability was cool. It is really part of the making of Tabasco, the, the, that whole idea that you're, you conserve, you, you, you're smart with your resources, you do the smart thing, and it's just good business to be able to do it as well. So we've been doing it for a long time, and we'll continue to do it uh, a long time as well. It's the formula to our success. This was planted last year. Uh, what it does is make it makes a wall and it traps the sediment behind it, and then your other grasses will start taking over. Um, you plant it probably within 18 to two foot of water. Uh, you want current going back and forth. Uh, you just find a mud flat and basically just plant the grass and let it do its work. I guess the Avery Island to explain it best, I guess, would be good stewards of the land. Um, they want to preserve what they have. You know, leave it better than you found it. I guess that's the best way to describe it.